man. May exciting to. Pasok na tayo sa Land of Dawn. This is game two between El Ganador Esports and Next Play Evos. Next Play Evos already taking game number one. So medyo nagkapalit lang po tayo ng one dyan sa taas. Huwag muna magalit, chat. Babaguhin din yan. <laughs> yeah. Next Play Evos in the lead with the series. 1-0. And it will be a slow start again in terms of the duels up top. See there, medyo nahirapan si Percent kontra kay Ureshi. Right now, next play Evo, nakuha nilang unang Litho Wanderer of the game. So it's a good start right now for H2. Ating laro, one minute in, medyo low HP na si Percent. Pero wala pa namang dive na magagand na ha, Ureshi! Oh, oh, kang masusolo kill! Pero Flicker will be burnt for the side of Percent, Ureshi. Asserting dominance in the XP lane. Mm, Mingguin going for the top side rotation to counter. Oh, dodging! The dodge ni Oreshi, ang umbrella toss ni Mingguin. Good rotation there by Mingguin, but right now, percent mo ang nahirapan talaga siya with a 101 duel against the glue. Cadenza, mm -hmm. uh, uh, inaalagaan muli si Donut. Ito yung, wow, ayan ang favorite ko yung Cadenza Beyblade. <laughs> yung cobra na cobra na umiikot-ikot di ba pero jokes aside man next play evos they know that they need to protect their gold lane kadensa hindi masyado sinasabayan dito uh, si lumiere para maalagaan mas lalo si donut and now turtle will be spawning sino kaya ang makaka-establish ng pressure dito we have four people on the side of el ganador esports baka sa kanila na naman muli mapunta ang turtle Yep. Pares ng jungler ng dalawang teams ay nakaposisyon na sa turtle pero dahil sa bottom side rotation na next play Evos, dun sila magpo-focus yung Alis talaga yung target nila dito Nako, Joseph mukhang hindi mapapabagsak pero sabi ni Donat, kalma lang kasi First Blood goes to the side of next play Evos pero turtle magpupunta sa El Ganador Nag-trade lang tayo ng objective for object for kill So ito yung sinabi ko kanina ng next play Evos, ititignan talaga nila dito si Joseph on the Alice na papahirapan niya ang buhay niya dito. Considering how Oreshi, sayang-saya siya sa lane matchup niya kontra kay Percent, nahirapan dun si Percent who is rocking that Avarice. So it's not as tanky compared to giving him a tank emblem. So kaya mukhang sobrang saya ni Oreshi sa matchup na yon. So next play Evos, bottom side rotation, okay lang. First turtle of the game. Goes to the side of King Frenzy. Maganda naman dito yung scaling ng Paquito. H2 doesn't need that. He's uninterrupted in the farming. So, focus natin yung aggression kay Joseph on the Alice. It goes to show that next play Evos, they're also respecting the mid to the late game spike of this Alice. Again, if this Alice, kung hindi nila mahinto yung farm niya, kung hindi nila pahirapan yung Alice na to, siya yung magiging X-factor para sa El Ganador Esports para manalo ang El Ganador. And tignan nyo tong rotation, galing sa El Ganador, hahanapin si Yelly Hayes, pero mukhang makabak pa naman. Hindi mahihila ni Lumiere and Mr. Bataanon will be surviving that mid lane. And now percent, ang versus si Ureshi. Si Ureshi, oh, uh, malalala. Percent, he's gonna go down. Hindi pa naman, 3-4 HP, pero grabe naman ang burst doon lang. Mingguin again taking the first kill of El Ganador Esports. Nakita na natin to yung game one. Magandang rotation galing sa El Ganador Esports. Alam na nila kailangan natin ng isang win. Saan man sa mapa, kung sino man mahanap namin, yun yung papatumbay namin at nahanap nila si Oreshi for an destroyed. opening. But because of so much commitment to the top side, next play Evos nakita nila bukas ang bottom lane nila. So wala nang tore dito yung Alice. At wala ng bottom lane tower ang El Ganador. Jose Pilardo, wala ng tore pero third lane lang ang hanap ng next day Evos. Ang kanilang call ay mag-back na and they will safely get that turtle. Uncontested pa nga. Oh, King Frenzy, hindi ka na. Uy, grabe, muntikan si King Frenzy dun, no? Pero nabalibag dito si Donut and the Alex will take down the Brody. Sunod-sunod na nga si Apoy. Pisha na ata ang sunod. A double kill for Mr. Joseph Hilardo. And Joseph, half HP. Binubugbog ni H2. John Paul Salonga nagahanap pa ng isa. Pero mukhang back na ang call ng next lady. What an engagement by Lumiere. Nakita na niya eh. Ako may chance ako dito. Uy, pero si Joseph na patumba doon ni H2. Right before this instant replay brought to you by Smart, si Lumiere, nakita niya, uy, 
Si ano to? Si Donut to? Sige, mag-flicker nga ako. Ultihan ko nga to. Lancet. And at the end, next play Evos. Losing two of their members. Pero nakabawi, nakabawi din naman ng isa. Ang next play Evos. Great response there for H2. But dun dapat mag-ingat din ang NXPE. Who, by the way, again, NXPE leading the series 1-0. So, don't worry guys. Alam namin yun. <laughs> Mm, ay, kami na magsasabi sa inyo para sa mga next play fans dyan na nagagalit na alam namin next play Evos ang nanalo ng game 1 kahit i-replay nyo pa na may papalitan talaga yan mamaya pag narinig na kami pero ito ah uh, uh, the Sicilian is now I think a 0-1-1 late game pa naman sasakit ang Sicilian na yan pero this is the same opportunity that El Ganador Esports had in game number 1 no? gusto sana nilang mag snowball pero despite having a few kills Lamang pa rin ang next day Evos in terms of gold. Here comes another 5%. Makakabalik ng konti HP at si H2. Chanquan Salonga goes down. Four people are alive for the start of next day Evos. And now El Ganador Esports. Sabi nila, okay na yun. Let's go back. Percent, Lumiere, and Mingguin. They're all doing the right things to keep this game alive for El Ganador Esports. Keep the series alive. Keep the upper bracket uh, dream alive. In the bottom lane, duel between Joseph and Donut. Parehas na sila na ano, nawala sa mapa, but both of them are the were turtle. able to flicker away, get away. Let's, turtle let's goes on the side of El Ganador. Percent, pero mukhang too late na. And he's still alive. Nagahanap ng... Okay. Nakakala ko, ma, ano siya eh, magpapasok pa ulit. Pero El Ganador Esports, they got the objective and they went out. Parang mas malinis ata magdaro ang El Ganador in Game 2. Yeah, much better response here. Mukhang mas komportable na sila. And then at the same time, that Atlas gives uh, gives a lot of capabilities for El Ganador to initiate. Pero hindi lang sa pag-initiate, sa pag-counterplay. If next play Evos, na-comment na nila yung mga dashes nila, abilities nila to engage a fight. Si Lumiere, he'll be ready to catch next play Evos and counter with a flicker alongside the Fatal Links. Oh, wow. This is uh, quite a close game that we have Ladies and gentlemen, game number two, El Ganador Esports, next play Evos, eight minutes in, 600 lang ang lamang yung next play Evos. Makakabili ka ng Starlight, may sukli ka pa. Yun lang ang laman <laughs> ng next, lamang ng next play Evos in this game number two. And now, King Frenzy, nung game number one, no, na 0-3 siya, pero ngayon wala pa siyang deaths. Mm. Next play Evo, susubo ko na nila basagin ng top lane tower, mahuli dito si Lumiere! Oo, oh, nahuli ka na naman, percent, pero grabe yung healing, pero walang malakas tatlo. Next play Evo, they get another kill at si Donut, nakaka-push lang tuloy-tuloy, napakasakit ng Brody na ito mag-push. Yeah. And now, Joseph at Donut will be... The players, you have to watch out here for both teams. Kamusta na yung farming nila, kamusta na yung scaling nila as we're getting closer to the 10-minute mark of the game. Nakita na natin, Donut, sumasakit na talaga yung damage niya sa mga Tore. So, El Ganador Esports, kailangan pag-ingat! Paano mag-iigat? Napadaan lang, napahamak pa. El Ganador Esports, Lumiere is down. First death of the game. They're going to try to take or maybe establish pressure around this Lord area instead. Cadenza, nasa harap pa ng dalawa. Dalawa ang center ng next big Evos. And this is super hard for El Ganador Esports to match. Yeah. Technically, at the same time, El Ganador, mara marami din naman silang opportunities for set up but parang mas simple yung pang set up dito na next play Evo so they have the Ruby they have the Kufra but for El Ganador si Percent kailangan pa niya mag ano sticky tas maka marka ng isang target tas hatakin pa balik but El Ganador do have the Atlas as well and they also have Joseph who oh, they got already yeah. though mukhang may burst na mag magagana pero si Yeli Hayes ang mangunguna sa damage dito Donut still alive Mr. na papilion here comes a protein strike Hero. sa Alice goes down at ito na nga fan from execution team friends he goes into the city for nice or nice throws coming in from this nice oh! pero si King Frenzy napasabog na ng back to impact na nang galing Kay Bata Anon, and now Jelly Hayes and the squad. Next play, Evos. We will start the lure. Blue team turret has oh, been a one in a million Sicilian play. Double kill Blue at the end. Naiwasan niyo yung initiation ni Lumiere. Kung nahuli dun si Apple Pisha, kung nahuli dun ng Sicilian, 
uh, sa Fatal Links ng Atlas, baka iba yung storya ng laban na yun. Pero dahil nakapag-free hit siya, he was able to give the ultimate up. And of course, the bad impact damage at this point. Taas na taas na talaga ang stacks ng isang Sicilian. The fact that you can see him spamming it without any problem at parang walang masyadong bawas dun sa mana niya. That's how you know the Sicilian has a lot of stacks. Yeah, and Mr. Batan, Onyele is here on this uh, Cecilio. Nakita na natin ng Game 1 at ngayon napapanood natin muli. Itong Cecilio na ito, marunong pumuesto eh. Yung dulo ng bad impact na napakasakit, yung pa talaga yung tumatama. And now, Joseph, hindi niya nakuha ang kanilang purple buff na steal pa ni John Paul Salonga. Oh, Lord marching in. Tumato para sa El Ganador. Close to uh, more than a 6K. Close to a 6K gold lead here for NXPE. Baka makakabasag sila ng isa o dalawang inhibitor turret dito. Pero kung hindi mag-ingat dito ang El Ganador, baka ma-wipe out pa nga sila. But at most, two inhibitor turrets. 20% si Red Sebastian. Nagahanap ng pwedeng ma-set up para makapag-defend sila. Bumagsak na lang ang Lord. At this is this looking to be a successful defense coming in from El Ganador Esports huh? na walang inhibitor turret ang bumagsak. Oh, magandang minion wave clear. Nakapag-defend sa sila na maayos. Walang base turret na nawala sa kanila. So that's a win for El Ganador. Pero malapit na mabasag yung top lane ter uh, turret. Isang Pilipina lang mabasag din yan. Pero nakita mo si Mingguin, hindi siya takot na gamitin talaga yung umbrella toss niya para mabawasan lang kagad yung minion wave, yung buhay ng minion wave bago makalapit sa tore. And hindi pa rin tinitigilan ng next day ng Evo sa pag-exert ng pressure sa side ng El Ganador Esports. One minute at nagsuspon na nga ang sunod na Lord at kailangan na rin nilang mag-pack. So this is, I, I would call this a successful defense coming in from El Ganador Esports considering na walang bumagsak na enable to target sa side nila. Yeah. So far, yung mga tatlong bagong player dito na next play Eve was, again, still playing really well in key positions. Cadenza, Oreshi, and Donut all playing really well. New, ano, yung mga bagong acquisition dito na next play Eve was for MPLPA Season 9. But for the side of El Ganador, they also have had some bright spots. Their tank, Lumiere, Uh, King Frenzy, Thomas Tolentino playing really well. But right now, it's just hard for El Ganador Esports to move around the map. Ang mga mata ngayon ng mga fans ng El Ganador ay na kay Joseph Filardo. Joseph on that Alice. Will oh, he be able? And of course, kailangan natin i i i credit no si Mr. Carl Galiantes na si Mingguin na consistent sa kaguran na to. Game 1 pa lang. Di ba? Mm. Now, NXPE, good positioning around the map, 8k gold lead, they will definitely have the advantage on the Lord, pero kailangan din nila respetuhin yung possibility ng El Ganador to surprise, pero si Joseph ano surpresa sa top lane? Nako Joseph, mukhang ano na nangyayari, Joseph babagsak sa ata, here comes the oh, Winter Trajun, nag-grow nga ba as a player, bumabot si King Frenzy, John Paul Salonga, he goes down, nako, nawala ng core, ang next leg he goes, and now percent, nahanap na rin si Oreshi, it's a 2v1, pero sabi nila, ayoko sa Ruby, ayoko sa iyo, Hindi na nila nilabanan. And now, next play Evos. Despite a 4v4 here. And next play Evos. They steal away the purple buff. Sila H2 at Oreshi nag-umpisa ng gank doon sa top lane kay Joseph. Munti ka na, munti ka na. But just at the right moment, nakapag-winter truncheon pa nga doon si Joseph. Buying enough time para sa teammates niya na, pa, na makaresponde at na-pick off pa nga doon si H2. Not to the fault for NXPE. Hindi yung nakasalanan ni H2 or Oreshi. Maganda lang talaga yung ginawa doon ni Joseph. Surviving long enough, getting the Winter Truncheon off in time, and a great rotation and great assistance by El Ganador. But right now, as it stands, NXPE was still in the lead, pero hindi na gano, hindi bibitaw dito ang El Ganador. Susubukan pa nila manalo sa laban na to to force a game number 
15 minute lord started by next play evos pero pantay ang ating pressure in the map 4v4 near the lord pero si h2 ay nag clear muna ng minions sa xp lane and now next play evos mukhang hindi lord ang kanilang call dito and now el ganador mukhang sinasabayan ng nila eh el ganador is on the receiving end of place kumbaga reactive sila sa laro na to Let's see who's gonna get the advantage here. Lumiere, uh -huh. Ureshi, nahila yung isa, pero sa backline na pa sa oh. Tokyo Hindi Hindi pa nakapag-stick-stick, wala pang nag-grab-grab. At tumutusok-tusok na rin si Team Frenzy. This is a good fight for the Alice, pero oh. looking at that. He at last with the fatal links. Pero negative lang sa ating yung Tokyo Hindi. Pumasak na rin ang Tagora. Diyan po sa Longa, nakalat ng isa si Team Frenzy. Mega kill for Mr. Bataanon as he takes down the fourth member for El Ganador Esports. It's up to Mr. Joseph Hilardo to defend against the five people of Next Play Evos. Wow, what a team fight. This might actually be the win right now for Next Play Evos as we look at the highlights, that replay. Trita links, muntik na mga pa-turn around ng El Ganador. But next play, Evos, there's Sicilian again keeping the distance. But as a team, ang ganda ng response ng Victory! NXPE. And NXPE wins the series 2-0 contra sa El Ganador. Another sweep for Sibol, Sibol 2022 National Team Selection powered by Smart. Nakita natin from Onyx Philippines nung series number 2 natin na na-sweep din nila ang kalaban nila. Pero para sa mga fans ng El Ganador Esports dyan, huwag naman kayong mag-alala masyado. May lower bracket pa ma na mapapanood nyo din in the next few days. Congratulations though para sa NXPE dahil mag magpapatuloy sila sa ating winner's bracket. Let's see the stats here for game number two, what's the most, let's say, uh, amazing thing na makikita natin dito sa ating uh, post log? Well, just looking at the numbers of Donut uh, as well. Donut, even though didn't really have a lot of highlights. Again, uh, I'm just really loving how the new players that were introduced to sa mga MPL teams natin, na they know what they need to do. They Alam nila yung role nila, alam nila yung kailangan nila gawin, sino yung mga target na huli nila, how do they build their items, when do they time their abilities. In the end of the stat line here for participation, uh, in terms of teamfight participation, all the damage dealt, uh, Donut ended up becoming the MVP. But in, it's also hard to pin down an MVP para sa NXP Evos because you can actually put up a case for other players such as, again, uh, for Apple Pisha on the on the Sicilian, you can also put up a case for H2 potentially becoming an MVP. Cadenza mm -hmm. also had some worthy moments there where he was able to provide information at the right time or even get that tyrant's revenge off at the right time. 